And welcome back. This is Kotel. Got another War Rights event. Hope you all having a good weekend so far. It is Saturday and we have a UEC. It's going to be a bit of a truncated weekend for me. Um, I'm probably not going to do any of the NA events um, due to the Memorial Day weekend. It's just got some other stuff going on. I might be able to do the HRE tomorrow, but I'm not sure. But for now, I am going to be able to cover this UEC event. And it is a Nico Hill. This is Server 2. Current server pop is 170, uh, 87 on the defending CSA versus 83 for the attacking union. Let's take a look at these two teams starting out with the CSA. They have on their team the 8th Florida, the 4th New Jersey, the 20th Georgia, the ANV, both the 6th and the 10th variants, and I think that's it. So we've got Kill leading the A and V. See, along with Gamebot, and then we've got Hog leading the 8th Florida, Pixel leading the 4th New Jersey, and Jumbo leading the 20th Georgia. All right, now looking at the Union, looks like... I'm not seeing any Artie on Nico. This will be interesting, uh, Nico without any Artie. It's been a while since I've seen that. Now they have... Let me make sure that's true. Yeah, no Artie. Uh, 6 Texas on the Union team. Then we also have the 56th of Virginia, the uh, German Corps, both the 5th Ohio, um, who are going to be skirmishers, as well as the 20th New York variant here. Uh, we're also joined by the 22nd, so the entire German Corps. But I believe uh, 5th Ohio is going to operate as a separate body while these two will work together. And their leadership is Colonel Vibar leading the 20th. New York 56 is led by Captain Slaughter. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Harson is leading the 5th Ohio, and Captain Rousseau is leading the 6th Texas. And we are live, just a quick overview, CSA spawn is back uh, over there, uh, Union spawn is over here in that road right there, and this is the point of contention right here. So we are live at 40 as both teams start to move out kind of go a big overview to see where they decide to set up their defense. Again, this is no Artie on a Nico, so this will be a rather interesting uh, map here. We'll have to see how this develops. Uh, so far, it looks like the Union's actually splitting up not too much. They are sending the skirmishers, and I imagine this is 5th Ohio here, but let me make sure. It, it, no, it's actually the 22nd VA. Maybe 22nd VA is operating as an independent body. And 5th is working uh, with the rest, but uh, so far the CSA is basically splitting up into three relatively even groups here. Uh, try to spread out as much as they can while the Union is massing towards the woods here. Keep an eye for that initial engagement. Uh, GC is going to be careful. They've got both the 20th and the 8th Florida looking at them. The best they could do is try to draw some fire here. As we've got some initial movements here by the Union team. As it looks like they are massing up, getting some, uh, getting ready to do an attack here now. It looks like the CSA has notices, this, and Killer is moving the A and V over to help out Mr. Pixel in the 4th New Jersey. We will see there, see if they get there on time. As a good chunk of the Union team, three quarters about. It's barreling right towards the 4th New Jersey on this corner. Okay, friendlies are coming, so we're holding. Fire. Are we the they're, okay. they're, right. they're right. No, they're all hitting the corner. They're getting their reloads. And, oh, there's no one defending the corner here. And 4th New Jersey is retreating without a fight. Oh, Lord. They're going to try to pull back to kind of conserve some combat power. Meanwhile, here comes the ANV, but a unit was waiting for them. It was the German Corps, Colonel Vibar. But Killer is going to charge into it to try to knock them back here. See if he can do it. They got to get the Union's got to get that flag up here. ANV has succeeded in wiping out the ANV, and they are pressing that attack. There's more CSA moving up. Yes, there is. Here comes Hog to aid them. Although A and V has run out of strength here, and the Union still controls the corner here. They also got 5th Ohio providing some flanking fire as well, doing some heavy damage to what's left of the A and V. 
Reloads. I'm gonna hide behind Rick you, bro. Bomb face. Bombs left. March. Bombs left. Double quick, guys. So far, the Union controls this corner, but they do not control anything else as of yet. Take aim. Same position. Fire. Instead, keep on firing. Oh, no. Load it. Load it. Take aim, same position. And fire. Can't remember if pistols are allowed. I, I think they might not be. Not thinking about it. The event here. Oh, big problem here. The A and well, the A and B and other CSA are now concentrating fire on the GC. And this Union element back here really isn't in a great position to support them. The Union is in danger of getting defeated in detail. And in fact, Tarson has to retreat and move back. You also have James Joker all the way, not James Joker, but the uh, 22nd VA all the way over there. But no one's opposing them now. And in fact, Jumbo is going to try for a wider flank here. Put some additional pressure here on the Union. He caught some of the... Uh, Fifth Ohio as they try to retreat. Does anybody make it out? No, they are wiped out to a man. So far, even though the Union has a bridgehead, they have not been able to do anything with it, and they are basically stuck in a corner. We've got another flank maneuver up here by who is this? Here is Fourth New Jersey trying to put in some uh, fire down here. Now you've got a bridgehead. What are you going to do with it? Is the question. Oh, six Texas kind of got caught there by the A and B. They know. And look at that damage that the A and B just did to the poor six Texas. And GC, 20th New York is getting destroyed. And the CSA, after punching through, is now attacking in on behind the Union line here. And I think this will be a devastating charge against the Union here. And they attacked very well done here as they attack, cutting off the angle of retreat for the Union. And it will be a total wipe here for the 56 and whoever was left over here. Uh, one man looks like he might get it out, Slaughter. Nope, he is killed as well. He dies with his men. And this is a complete four-flag wipe for the Union. Do have... A bit of an advanced position here for 22nd VA. Yep. Nothing really for them to shoot at. And you can see at 33 minutes here, CSA is maybe a quarter of the way down battle ready, I'd say. Third if I wanted to be generous. But I think it's closer to a quarter, to be honest with you. Yeah. And the uh, Union is basically a third of the way down from being pushed to engage. So a very early engagement here for the CSA. Uh, I think without Artie, this is going to be very tough to beat the CSA team. I don't really know. Uh, we'll see if the Union can figure out a new angle. But that initial attack was not uh, good for the Union. Good reaction by the CSA coming up to support and plug that hole. Kind of chewing away with them at fire, and then once they had the advantage, closing the lid on them, just stuffing them. Oh, that comes up. By the way, this game is called, if you're new, War of Rights. It is a Civil War first-person shooter. Everyone you see here is an individual player. Um, it is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. Um, this event is called the United European Community Event. Um, it is open to new units if you want to try, and you can, uh, you know. 
meet the requirements of the event, follow the rules of it. It's mostly involved, you know, fighting in a very specific style, um, in live battle style. Um, but uh, it's two servers right now, as you can see. There is a link in the description if you want to uh, sign your unit up to their Discord. Also, I have left links to most of these units, the ones that I have, um, their Discords, if you would like to join the units and get into this uh, gameplay. We do have a forward movement here by the 6 Texas. You have to be careful not to move up by themselves, or they are going to get chewed up by this CSA force up here. Yeah, also, if you like the video, you know, and want to support the channel, always appreciating likes, subscribes, comments, shares, all that fun stuff, kind of help the channel grow, and, uh, you know, help the event grow. Yeah, without a flag, this, this force here is going to get inserted very quickly. you got to be very careful about getting into an advanced uh, gunfight um, where you're taking a lot of casualties without a flag. Right, so now here comes Colonel Vibar, but as you can see, now 6 Texas is already at about 50% strength here. Same thing, you know, these guys are going to stop here. Without their flags, they're just going to get chewed to pieces here. There's uh, Soldier Moza, he might be trying to get the flag, but he's just going to get killed for five tickets. For his GC, 20th New York, is already wiped out. Here comes Harson, and what's left is 6 Texas. But look at how much manpower they've already lost here. They were able to recover at least one flag, but all they can do is move it forward to get it killed closer with this combat power here. Watch your fire, there's still Yankees that come yeah. oh, so They still have this flanking force here. Follow me, follow me. Florida, they are getting harassed now by 22 VA who have now moved over to this side of the field to provide some more support. But um, they're gonna, oh, here comes the 8th Florida. They're gonna catch this Union attack here, which left of 56 and knock them out here. This attack is over. Completely torn to pieces here. CSA now about halfway down uh, engaged. So they did about a quarter um, morale damage on that attack. And now the Union is a very close now to uh, engaged. They've always got to be careful here. They're getting, they're getting chewed to pieces here. Yeah, go, 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 Sandra. Go, go, right away. Got it, man. Thanks. Gonna watch 22nd VA here. They are pretty good shots. They made them pay for that. Again, without Artius, this becomes a very difficult chore. It's, it's very hard with just charges to uh, push this unit off. Especially when you're not really destroying the stone wall, creating openings for you to attack through. On the left! Since we're waiting for the next attack, I can do a little bit of a unit preview okay, here. Uh, for example, this is the About face. Army of Northern Virginia, but it really should be called the Alabama um, Northern Volunteers or something. They are a... Um, Colonel Killer is in charge, as you can see. They've got the 10th Alabama as well as the 6th Alabama on the game bot. Um, they participate in a lot of events, um, both NA and EU times. Um, they do the UEC um, on uh, both Fridays and Saturdays. They do HRE on Sundays at EU times. Um, and then they do s NA events as well. I'm trying to recall which ones they do. Um, I believe... Mm. Get the NA events. Ah, you missed. ah, I forget the NA events they do. They're not the ones I usually cover. Um, not sure if they do uh, Ghost of Antinum or if they do Maryland Campaign. I cannot recall. I think they do Maryland Campaign, but I might be off on, on Saturdays. But regardless, they have a. It's a very big unit. Um, a very. Not a, here's the thing about them. Even though they're big, they are aggressive. 
and they will get, do some amazing flanking maneuvers. And, and uh, left face, double quick. It's really damn hard. So even though they're big, they're mobile. So they are a huge threat on the battlefield. They also have a uh, robust artillery section. Hey. I'm not sure if Exorf leads it, but I know he's one of the commanders, uh, Captain Exorf. So they are a uh, unit. Uh, if you're looking for a very uh, a unit that really makes its weight felt on the battlefield, that you know makes themselves really known, and really takes up a, a big side here and does some really cool maneuvers, uh, A and V is definitely worth checking out. Again, they also play at a lot of different times, so a lot of opportunities for you to play. And different roles as well. GC getting hurt here pretty bad. They are getting torn apart by this fire. You see the Union has rotated now to this right side with at least some of their elements. Uh, Colonel Vibar was kind of a uh, flank force over here, but I don't think they have their flags with them, which again, I, I don't, I, I would wait. Well, they have one flag with them at least, so okay, this is somewhat okay. You got Slaughter with his flag here, but without unit flags, it's very hard to Launch any, can sustain any kind of engagements out here. Here we got Harson and his guys from the German Corps move forward. Now the German Corps consists of uh, three main units: the uh, Fifth Ohio here, which is kind of a. Um, see, Harson is one of the commanders, or I think he's actually the commander. Um, they are a German-speaking unit, as as the name implies. Uh, very large when you add them all together. Um, they do uh, UEC both days, um, not uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, they focus a lot on drill, on reenactment type stuff. Um, Again, they've got uh, three units. Colonel Vibar is in charge of the 20th New York. 22 VA is in charge of... Well, I'm not sure who's in charge. Is it James Joker? I guess James Joker is in charge of the 22nd VA. But um, another very large German unit. Uh, sometimes they split up into separate formations. Sometimes they come together. Nice attack here by the 20th. Really good attack here by Jumbo. I try to unload in the face here of the GC. White wheel on the fence. White wheel on the fence. But GC is holding steady here. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Again, a very disciplined unit. They don't get frazzled very easily. Stand high ten. And despite, you know, they're standing their ground. Both units are. She's in up. But I think the 20th has the advantage here. Yep, and they will win that fight. A nice move by Mr. Jumbo from the 20th. Alright, let's see what else we got here. So you got the 56th in the 20th kind of reforming over here. Looks like 6 Texas tried to do an attack, but they've kind of gotten into the center, but they got repulsed here. Um, we are at the 23-minute mark, and CSA is still a battle ready. This is not looking good for this Union team. Um, we do have a forward movement out here. Who is this? Um, so the A and V, the 6 Alabama here, and a gutsy move. Again, I'm not surprised to see this kind of move from Gamebot here. He has actually moved out here to get some flanking fire into the Union. You just got to watch uh, if he just come out from Maine that he doesn't get caught out in the open. But he's pretty slippery, so I would not be surprised if he can uh, deal with that problem if it emerges. By the way, kind of a PSA, you know, kind of advertisement. We will have the Overland campaign reenactment coming up here on the 7th, 8th, and 9th. I will be doing uh, overhead views for those three battles in more cinematic views because the battles are scripted, so I don't really need to hit the, uh, the flag button anymore. So you guys that have been like, hey, Kotel, why don't you do more cinematic views? Those will be the battles that I can do some. I will do uh, raw footage of the whole event, and then I will, um, at some point in the summer, I get time, um, I'll, I'll do um, kind of highlights uh, for those videos. So Right now we're looking at doing two separate iterations, so I'll be covering the UEC iteration. I gotta see if I can find somebody who might do the other one uh, for the overhead views, but anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to that here in the next uh, two weeks. Uh, yeah, Slaughter's trying to move up. And in this little shack right here. 
So, jetzt passen wir auf da. Äh, vor, vor uns am weißen Haus. Rechts, 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 Westen, 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 Westen. Fight Wolf. Fight Wolf. Rechts, oh, Wolf. Gezielte Ach, Schüsse, rechts, gezielte Westen. Schüsse. Gezielt ordentlich. Fahne, Fahne, jemand die Fahne? Oh, they're getting Fahne. torn apart here. They, get, they got cover from one angle. Not really, actually. They're still getting nailed from that other angle. And these guys got. I hate to say slaughter got him slaughtered, but you know. That is the end of that. It's not looking good for this Union team at the moment here. They're getting outshot here. Again, I think no Artie is a big mistake. I think I said uh, James Joker. I think it's actually Captain Jack Stone who's actually in charge of the, uh, the 22nd VA right here, Jack Stone. Leute, was ist denn das? Front Train, mach Right Tress bevor ihr selbst mal schießt. Bei Kolumna, wir kommen muy abiertos. Get a little bit far away, uh, at least. Left side, left side, left side. I'm gonna call Jumbo. Jumbo, Jumbo! Jumbo! Take up your... Roger that. We'll take up your left flank. Left flank. Left flank. Left flank. Left flank. Left flank. You can see a displacement here by the CSA to meet this charge head on. Fire well. Stay in line, 20th. Stay in line. Stay in line. Stay in line. Stay in line. Stay away from the fence. Stay in line. Stay in line. Come back. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold back. Hold back. Ramo, Ramo, Ramo. Finish them off, boys. And at the 20 minute mark, the CSA has just now hit engaged after a successful defense by the 8th floor and the 20th. Very well done there by those two units. Captain Gefallen. Rob, now for this unit is their flank. The GC is. Uh, Blank is exposed, and you can see here, got this formation right here, 6 Alabama. They are continuing to press on uh, the kind of block here. 20th is kind of a reserve formation here, but they are getting squeezed and squeezed. The main concern I have, though, for the 6 Alabama is to get hit in the flank. We'll see if Slaughter can do it. I would charge him out. I would hold. Oh, he's got some reinforcements, though. Maybe Slaughter's right. Uh, I think that was a good call, Slaughter. That's why he's in charge, and I just hang out and watch. Might have held that fire a little bit for them to expose themselves a little bit more. But... Mr. Hanks, who are yet? They are not getting engaged. In fact, they are going to charge out the 20th here and cut off that formation. And that is going to cause. Here's Harson. He's going to charge in. This might be a good opportunity to get some um, tickets back, though, for the Union here. See, and they got some good tickets out of that. Let's see, about a quarter of the way down engaged, about 18 minutes. Again, this is not an ideal situation here for this Union team. They are well behind on tickets as well. You can see, CSA just needs to continue what they're doing. That attack, though, they got a little bit overexposed there, I think. Uh, so they got to be careful of doing that too much. Target rich environment, gentlemen. It's a strange name. Target rich environment? Funny by name, rich environment. Yeah, so. Skirmishes to your front. About east. East, northeast to your front. That's the wrong uh, line, down. bud. Far side on the left side. Welder, once you're done loaded, uh, join join on the left side of the line for me, please. Everybody else, address it right. Uh, 
Azeroth, come get in the line. On the left side. Right here. Thank you. Incoming. Fire will. Good, more cannon fodder. Fire will, gentlemen. More meat show for you. Got a little one breaking off right. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be retreating soon. Shoot, Shoot them the to their backs. Whatever you prefer, right oblique on the front. Shoot your targets, boys. I said only the classic problem, I would mean in the next one. Nice. No, that was not for me. No, it wasn't me. Company sees fire. Really he really is really running into some trouble here. We'll see. Is Rousseau, he's gonna try to wind flank, but if it's by himself, he's gonna run into some trouble here. This way and I fought with Still gonna have Pixel and Six Alabama to deal with. We'll see if he can manage it. See, they're getting fired. Two angles here, and how much damage that did to hit Ohio, and how accurate these guys are with their shots. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. My right flank. Hello. My left flank. Left flank. Oh. Fire company, make ready. Ready. Make ready. Flag it down. Flag it get those flags up, by the way. Arthur. Two units over there in the woods. Yeah, I think spurting out here as well is not a great uh, look for the unit either. Solange wir fressen, werden unsere Freunde nicht getroffen. Also bitte, Freiheit will weiterhin. Yo! Also ganz auf. Ich kann nicht jeder Frage hier. Ja, perfekt. Ich finde nicht so. Pass auf, dass du immer in Formation stehst, ne, Zack? Kapitän, Zack, aim! Aim! Company loaded. Company, aim! Freiheit los, Mann. Südwest. Südwest, genau. Well, here comes Rousseau. He's going to try for a flank attack here. He's actually got this uh, unit a little exposed here. We'll see if we can do it, although he's got the uh, other CSA looking to help him out. Watch for friendlies. Friendlies on the left. Just shoot those guys coming in. Six firing. Stop, stop, stop. Hold, hold, hold. hold, hold. Six Texas Falls. It was not a bad idea, but didn't really have enough to it. Didn't really make a difference. Oh, here comes Killer. What is he thinking of doing? Oh, wait a second. That caused a forward charge here by the Union. They are going to overwhelm that initial CSA unit. The 8th Florida, but they have backup here in the form of the 20th. We'll see if Jumbo can hold them. Let him up, let him up, let him up. Let him up, boys. You're going to die once I get my reload. Get out of here, Yankees. Get out of here. More coming. More coming, boys. Fire, boys. More coming. Yeah. Oh, not only do you have support from the 8th floor there, nice, guys. you've got, got Killer shots. doing some nice flanking fire in here, and that has absolutely stabilized hey, his flank line, here. Hey, Killer, we're shooting at these guys to the northeast here, right? Guys, line, redress, redress. They are behind us in the rocks, southeast. Uh, there you are. It's one element of them. Got slaughter over here, along with the 22nd, but they are being opposed here by Pixel in the Fort New Jersey. Kind of keeping them honest. 
12 minutes remaining, and CSA is just under half engaged here. I don't know about going this far out here, Pixel. This might be a mistake. He might be uh, a little bit too far out here. We'll see, he does have Cav. Let's see. Slaughter kind of sucked him into a uh, trap here. Get to reload them. Here comes the charge. This will finish off the cav here. Nice little uh, bait and switch there by Mr. Slaughter. Cav is wiped out. Well, they'll be able to reconstitute, but a uh, nice little victory there for the Union. Sprint six! Yeah, the problem with this map is you need to have a really good tempo as a union of attack, and I'm just really not seeing it. And I would also say you need some R to, to try to uh, even this out here, not let the CSA just mass up and massacre you. And uh, without it, you're in trouble. Front rank, take aim. Auf was? Aim. Find for the ganz im Südwesten, Südwesten auf der Straße, ganz oben. Südwest. Fire! Take These charges by yourself are not going to do anything either. Six Texas. I have to say, guys, you can't do this. you got to be together. You can't attack a fortified position like this with one. Just throwing away time and tickets. Not against A and V. They know too well. Adam. Yes, sir. Kindly tell Florida that there's still two large units on the left. Yes, sir. And that we're about to get attacked. Okay. And that he would like a cheese sandwich on Ryan. Stand by, boys, stand by. A cheese this. sandwich on Ryan actually sounds this. terrible. It's a horrible idea for a sandwich. Ugh, I don't even Stay about it sounds bad. Oh, we got a forward charge here by Slaughter. He's gonna try to catch uh, 20th napping here. Let's see if he can manage it. Oh, he has some additional support. Okay. Yeah, nice little slaughter doing these little ambushes, these little maneuvers here. Oh, 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 oh! Out here, vorne, weg! Er sie halten da hinten! Links, links von uns! Links! Ah, uh, but A and B has an answer for him. And it looks like the Union's going to try to occupy this this fence here as a strong point. We'll see if they can do it in Captain Point. I don't think it's a bad idea for the enemy on the open. There's no Artie to hit you. That's why uh, CSA Artie that is. So they are facing down the A and V though. And it looks like additional units are maneuvering. I believe this is Eighth Florida. Yeah, it's Mr. Hogg. Where'd A and B go? They get wiped out? Oh, they must have gotten pushed off. And the Union has now capped. Oh, they should have waited a few more seconds. They could have got him on taking losses before capping. But, uh, you know, it's hard to do, but uh, let's see how this goes now. A lot less on the counterattack clock. Frankly, they should have done this earlier. Okay, switch to volleys. There's no arty, so it's hard to knock him off here. Do you have a wide flank? I bet this is game bot. Yep, it's game bot. Try to get behind. This is oh, we got a double flank. Who's this? 
And we got Jumbo also coming in for a nice little flank here. That is going to unhinge a bit of the Union defense here. They are going to have to react to this. So is going to come over on this angle here, but that thins out that firing line there nicely. Good counter by Rousseau, but again, you've thinned this out. Also got 22 VA over there. Now the problem is how much fire is going to come in on this unit. You've got, you know, six Alabama shooting. You've got those guys over there. You've got A&V over there. Um, the eighth floor of Hog is also maneuvering. I'd be curious to see where right, he's going to thinking around about going. There, the back of them. And so he's going to try to attack from this back side here, which is not a bad idea. Um, we'll see if he can pull it off, though. It is 22nd VA and... Well done, Mr. Potato. Six Texas he's facing, so... We'll see if uh, 20th and 8th Florida can punch through these two units. Aim northeast, guys. Is it, I'm gonna hide behind you guys. You guys can take the shots while I reload. They're on the white flag again. They are in the... See, uh... 22 VA is trying to get another angle here. On East Florida. East, Gen 1. Again, this uh, strong point is going to be hard to defeat. We've got a very strong L formation at the moment. A and V volley coming in, but even then, with the, they got several flags here. One, two, three flags here. It's a lot of response. 18 every 30 seconds. Oh, but it looks like they are going to fall back and give up the point here. So it looks like, okay, rotating out here. I can see now why 5th Ohio was rotating. The flank fell. And indeed, 8th Florida and 20th did succeed in their mission of knocking back. Six Texas, and now the flank is exposed really here. Them down now. And look at where Jumbo has positioned his men. I mean, if this was Navy, this is crossing the T right now. And that forward position is no longer sustainable. Six firing. Oh, oh, oh. If I keep firing towards that little, uh, little no, house on the left of blink, by that little uh, shed. We've got Ace Flores coming around now. Not only that, that Pixel and the Six Alabama come up behind as well. Now these guys are getting really squeezed out here. Keep up the fire, gentlemen. Okay, south, east, south, everything there is enemy, so we keep on firing. Keep firing, yes, keep firing. Company, take aim. 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 Fire. Nice, reload. Will you hit my fan off? F. I F. I don't. Okay. He's a new eye. I wouldn't even recap, I'd just shoot him down and get him out of the last stand and just end the match to bounce We've got seven minutes. Oh, A and B is going to charge in and finish them off here and recap the point. One more incoming. 
firing <laughs> southwest. <laughs> He's running away. Kill that guy! Uh, no, not southwest. There we go. Complete win from the CSA team here. Corporal Necro taking the line. Uh, Thank you, Sergeant. Sweep up the current orders. Yeah, kill this man. <laughs> Six for moving. Come on, come on. Seven minutes remaining. Nice job, Forrest. That is correct. CSA team is dominating this match. Great example of positional warfare there. You know, you win one position to help you gain another position to gain another position until, you know, the main position can be taken. Well, that's sequencing. Branches and sequels. That might be another class at some point if I ever actually do my cover and concealment class. Uh, I'm going to talk about it briefly. So a branch is basically, think about if you've got a plan and then, like, depending on what happens, you have two choices. So the commander has a branch. Okay, I'll either do this at whatever decision point uh, they arrive at. Decision point is basically in the course of a battle, you know, a plan. Okay, we know we're going to do this here. Based on the circumstances, I have a choice. I can either go whatever the choice is, you know. Left or I go right, I go up the hill or down, the, whatever. You know, that's your decision point. And your branch is based off the decision point. So you might make one plan, okay, if, if he decide this, we're going to do this. And if, you know, he decides this, we're going to do that. Now, a sequel or sequence is basically um, step by step. So, you know, okay, our sequence. All right, we're going to take this hill here. We're going to take this fence here and shoot them down here. All right, once they're treated down, we're going to charge here and take this position here, and we're going to shoot here. We're going to shoot down here. All right, that's done. All right, we're going to maintain the position here, and then we're going to rotate over to here, take this position, and then keep them trapped into this uh, fire position there. And then, you know, a branch might be, do we charge them out, or do we just shoot them out and try to get them down to last stand? So... Beat and that oh, relates to what you'll call phases of the operation, which is basically breaking down the battle into certain elements so that you understand where you're at and what you're doing. Oh. Hey, left side rock, left side rock. Yeah, there's no way the Union's going to take this wall on a frontal attack. That's just not going to happen. Got low. Yeah, they're dead just like that guy. They're wiped. They're wiped. They got that flag up on pink left. Get the flag. There's more Yanks coming, boys. from here, boys. Get out there, flag boy, run! I got the officer. Come here! 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 here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Well, Fifth Ohio succeeded in that charge, but really. So, yeah, you got, they beat Fourth New Jersey. Uh, three minutes remaining. Uh, they're very close to the final push now. CSA still has got half a statement.
So this is, we'll see. But uh, this is looking pretty good for the CSA right now. Lacho, Bene, nach vorne, neu anschließen. Achtung, vor uns, vor uns, vor uns. Ey, vor uns. Kommt Wir sind alles Doppel hier, keine drei. Take A! Feuer! Und Jawohl! Hasen unten links an der Insel. Ja, auf die schießen wir gerade. Gallagher bleibt hier hinter. Wir müssen jetzt die Stellung halten. Dann ziehen wir uns zurück. Ein Tick. Direkt voraus. Ey, ich wollte nur Bescheid Ey, geben. Ich geh auf die große Einheit unten. Wow. Kappel dich vor Berg. Voll weg. Hinterm Zaun halt. Rick hätte die Hölle heiß gemacht. Ja, die Hölle. Ah. Keep up the fire, boys. Fire at will. Oh God. Got again. Sleep well. Sorry. Uh, left wheel on the fence. Left wheel on the fence. Right, right, left march. Right. Ball on left. Right, 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 Charge boys, just charge into them, get over the fence and charge them! Here's the final push. Come to the point, boys! Hey, on me, boys, on me! Double push! Yes, sir! Lomo, Kevin! Those are really good shots, man. I was like, shot, I'm seeing the guy go down. Here's the end. Yeah, that was that was not good. Uh, yeah, really good win by the CSA. Um, I don't know about doing that map without any yardy. Um, you can see the results. <laughs>